morning guys I'm over here at the casino here in town just camped out for the night I slept amazing <laughs> that was a good night got kind of some bad news though I woke up just a few minutes ago and I was looking up here on my ceiling and somehow there's like some mold growing up here from here to here there's just a bunch of tiny little spots that are a hundred percent mold if you watched my build video i definitely didn't do as much insulation as i should the ceiling i just didn't even insulate which was a complete oversight on my part but uh i think what i'm gonna do is just take off all these panels on the ceiling and then put some mold paint all over the the top of it and then just reinstall them and put insulation in this time so i'm gonna go up to my mom's and get this video uploaded and then just try to get this thing completely mold proof in here and it's definitely not something that you want to be living with because that is not good for your health obviously so yeah i'll figure it out and then we can keep going on some adventures It is seriously a gorgeous day out, guys. It's like 60 degrees. Wish I could be out camping in it, but it's okay. I'm just gonna head up to my mom's for now, like I said. Do some editing and also some research on the best way to take care of this stuff. So I've been here at my mom's for a couple days now, just getting some videos edited and out of the way. But today I'm going to take back off and try to figure out this mold situation. So yeah, I'm going to head over to the store real quick and just get a couple things I need. And then I'm going to head over to my dad's shop in the next town over because that's where all the tools are. Try to get this thing fixed up. It's too beautiful. I just got some uh, spar urethane, like a spray. I was gonna get a can, but I feel like this would go a lot quicker. And uh, it was a lot cheaper too, so that's what I like to go for. And then I just got some, some wood stain, which, which should help seal my walls up a little better. Let's do this. Alrighty, I'm just gonna start by taking off the paneling up there on the ceiling, get everything washed up and stuff, and then put some of that spar urethane on there. Then that's probably all I'll be able to do today until it dries. And then I'll try to figure out what type of insulation I'm doing and get it closed back in tomorrow. So let's get to it.
I'm gonna start off by popping these lights out. <laughs> Which I hate to do, but it's just gotta happen. So, it's all good. We'll get there, guys. They should be able to just pop out pretty easily. Just gotta push these things together and come right out. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my battery first, though. No reason to have power going to it. Here we go. Alright, just gonna get all these lights out real quick and then start popping these panels off. Definitely gonna have to replace some paneling. <laughs> this is all just kind of breaking as I pull it out, sadly. It's just the ceiling, so it's okay. All right, well, this is bad. That is insane. Crazy. I'm so glad I noticed that. That's insane that I was just breathing that in. So, all right, let's keep moving. There's actually a little bit more mold right here too. So, man. This thing was not in good shape. I had no idea. All right, that's better. throw this tarp in there too so I don't get this stuff all over the place. I bought some of this a while back. This is some mold and mildew killer. So I'm gonna use that and this soapy water and just get to scrubbing. put that spar urethane on when it's wet still. That's the only thing. I think instead of putting that spar urethane on next, what I'll do is go ahead and start staining the walls 
and then get a fan blown on this thing overnight and just try to really dry it out before I put anything back up on the ceiling. I like it. This is gonna look good. Sweet. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these two walls back here and then we should be good. Check it out. Alrighty, I'm gonna take off and I'll probably just catch up with you guys in the morning when I'm on my way back over here. So. So, had this fan going since last night just to kind of try to dry the ceiling out and stuff. And I think it worked for the most part. It's feeling real dry, so that's a good sign. But yeah, I am about to just pull this fan out and head over to Home Depot, get some stuff I need. I think mostly just the paneling so I can put the ceiling back up. So, let's get to it, guys. Perfect. Alrighty, thank you. You find anything on here? I am, yeah, thank you. Hello. I just have an order to pick up for Andrew. Perfect, thank you so much. You're welcome, and I'll get your release paper. Okay, you. perfect. All right, good to go.
be good. Let's do this. Okay, well, <laughs> my part's a little too close. <laughs> nope. And like I said yesterday, I'm just putting this spar urethane spray on it. Hopefully that's enough. If not, then I'll, I got a little bit in a can that I can just grab the brush and put it on. But hopefully this does the trick. All right, I just gotta grab my mask and we should be good to go. So thankful for masks. <laughs> that stuff was just a cloud, man. I think I got it pretty much coated though. Surprisingly, that can lasted for the whole ceiling. But I do have like a decent amount in this can right here. So I might go ahead and pull out a uh, brush and just put another coat on. Since I have the ceiling off, I don't wanna do it halfway and then, you know, have to do a lot, do it all over again. All right, well, I couldn't find any clean brushes or rollers or anything, but I think I decided instead of putting another coat of the spar urethane, I'm gonna put this stuff on it, which is the same stain that I use for my siding right here. And it's also some waterproofing sealer. So honestly that, might even do better than the spar urethane. I'm not sure. Either way, it'll waterproof it. And I already have a coat of the spar urethane. So we're gonna roll with it. I think that's all I got for now. I wish I could do more. It feels like such a slow process doing like one step at a time, but I'm just trying to be thorough and make sure it's good this time around. So I'm gonna clean this up and get out of here for now. So see you guys in a bit. Somebody needs to pull back in here, so I gotta get out of here.
I will probably catch up with you guys in the morning and we can keep it moving. Definitely wanting to try to get it all finished tomorrow. That way I can let it sit for a couple days and you know, let it air out before I get back in here. But I'm so ready to get back out on the road. So tomorrow should be the day. Cause all I have to do now is get the ceiling insulated and put the paneling back on. So it's just a matter of putting coats on and letting it dry and then putting it on and letting it dry again. But we did what we could. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Let's get to it, guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with just getting some of these staples pounded out, or, you know, pounded in. I would pull them out, but <laughs> that'd be a lot more difficult than just kind of tapping them up real quick. Get it ready for some insulation and then go from there. So, well, let's do it. All right, that should be everything. So let's get to insulating. Keep this thing moving. finish that up so now my next step is starting to get the paneling back up there gonna cut a bunch of paneling real quick just start getting this up there All right guys, well, I was working on trying to wire up the lights and stuff, and it's not working. It's just constantly on, and the switch doesn't do anything. Like, the switch is off, and the lights are on. I think I'm just gonna run up to Bass Pro Shops, because I, it looks like they have a 12 volt switch type of thing, so that's the only issue that I could see, even on Google or whatever, so. 
I'm gonna run to Bass Pro Shops and get that, and then probably head over to my mom's and just try to figure it out over there. And then come back over here tomorrow morning and hopefully be able to keep going. See what happens. So, peace. All right, guys. I just ran into Bass Pro Shops and got this little 12 bolt switch right here. So I'm hoping it's what I would need. But then again, I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to electrical. Just kind of figure it out as I go along, as you can tell. But while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can even put this on there and see if it works. Hopefully it does. Hole's gonna be a little big for the switch I got. That's okay. You can't have everything now, can you? Well, it is lit up, so I'm gonna take that as a good sign. Might not be a good sign, but. <laughs> well. I just blew a fuse. Nice. Yep, I just blew this fuse. I didn't figure it out, guys. So, I'm just gonna go back over to my mom's for now. And probably just have to order another switch. And also just kind of do some research. And see what the issue could be. Because I... I have no clue. Sadly, this is gonna probably put me a couple days behind though, so I'll see you guys a little bit later on, or tomorrow morning probably. So, I was doing a little research last night, and I think the only thing it could be really is the switch so I ordered a new switch last night because I couldn't get the one I got from Bass Pro Shops working so that should be here tomorrow and hopefully I can get that thrown in and get it all working but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and get the ceiling put back together and get everything wired up since it shouldn't obviously affect me finishing it I'll just have to throw the switch in there and test it after I put it all together. At least I can keep going for now. I won't know if it's all working, but at least I can get it all put together and hopefully get everything finished up except for getting the switch put in. Get to it, guys. All right. Let's keep it moving. It's hard to get these locked in with the curve. section is done. Now time for the next one.
right, guys? We did it, finally. Oh man, that took a little longer than I was hoping, but it's okay. I think it's all in a lot better shape now, and that's what matters. Look at this, though. Looking clean. I've just got to get all this stuff cleaned up, swept out, and get that switch on tomorrow. And then we can get back to it, because I am ready to hit the road. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and go from there. So, sweet. Finally. There we go. It's good to have this thing back up and running. Hopefully everything stays good so I can actually like <laughs> fully commit to this this time but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this stuff cleaned up out here and then take off so I will catch up with you guys when I put the switch in there and see if everything's working Got my switch delivered. Hey, buddy. Say hey to me, Augie. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to throw this thing in there and see if it's working. I really hope it does, because if not, I'm not sure. <laughs> so let's hope it works. Got a couple things that I needed earlier today. Got some wire nuts. And also, some damperid, since the humidity level has been so high lately. Which, by the way, thanks to everyone who told me about this stuff, because I didn't know about it. So, <laughs> that's very helpful. Thanks, guys. Here's my new switch. Let's get this thing in there. Alright. Okay, well, all right guys, let's see if this works. <laughs> Man, all right, well, I wasn't sure, honestly, wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. Oh, it's amazing. I guess my old switch just went bad. Well, that is that. I'm glad that was the issue, honestly. I wasn't sure, so that is definitely a relief. I appreciate you guys tagging along with me for my little remodel, I guess you could call it. <laughs> it's the same look, just, you know, redone. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys here in just a couple days when I'm done with my editing. And then we can hit the road again. I am going to set up this damp red real quick though. Because I feel like it could use it. It's only at 45% humidity right now. But see what happens. So, you just open this up and pour it in there. Easy enough. Thanks again to everybody that recommended these. It's like a mold and mildew inhibitor for those of you who haven't heard of it. Just some damp red. 
Anyway, guys, I am going to wash up my bedding because this bedding obviously was in here with the mold. So don't want to sleep on that until I wash it. I would just hit the road, but all I'm going to be doing is editing right now. So I'm just going to wait to finish up my next video and then hit it. I'm no reason to take off when I'm just going to be sitting in here anyway. Because I'll have plenty of chances to do that. I'm ready to do some exploring. So, stay tuned. And I will see you guys in a couple days. So cool. Back to a camper with lights.